Ladies and gentlemen, Violent Games here. Just going to be doing an update for January 12th, 2018. We made it to the next year. Violent Games is still here. Definitely not as strong as we used to be, but we're still here. So I just want to give you an update. Um, just tell you how I'm feeling. Um, what's the vibe on the channel? What series am I thinking about doing in the future? What can you expect in 2018? So... What I'm currently working on, I beat Life is Strange Before the Storm. The Let's Play is fully ready to go. I have to do some micro edits here and there, but it's nothing major. We've had maybe one issue in the recording process, but it was a minor issue. So that's out of the way. And um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about that. I really enjoyed that game, by the way. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun. I feel like I was expecting to have such a bad time with this game that I wound up loving it a lot more because of that. I really do believe that the internet, like, convinced me that this game was shit. And I went in there, like, actually decently surprised. I had a good time. Now, no, granted, granted, there are some big problems with Life is Strange Before the Storm, and there are some big successes at the same time, in my opinion. I feel like it's very hit and miss with me. And, but overall, I had fun. If you ever want to, like a review on that, I could probably do that. Let me know in the comment section if that interests you. I could definitely do a review for Before the Storm. I just didn't think anyone would give a shit, honestly. <laughs> so Life is Strange Before the Storm, it's ready. And I have to make an announcement after playing Before the Storm. I've made a decision that I'm going to try to keep Let's Plays routinely being posted on this channel. Let's Plays for me are a very easy thing for me to do. I don't know why. It's something I just, you know, adapt to naturally, and I, I can enjoy a game thoroughly while doing it, so I feel like, why not post it just to have content constantly on the channel while I'm looking for more topics to discuss, while I'm looking at more games to maybe cover, or maybe even make a series on. I'm dying to make a new series, man. You know I am. I love, you know Violent Games loves making series, and I don't like to stick to one. So, yeah. It's what I'm looking forward to in the future. So what are we looking forward to in the future, actually? In the near future, more likely. Because that's down the road. I, I, I currently don't have any, like, series lined up. I'm actually looking towards more into group projects. I'm, I'm sorry I butchered that fucking sentence, but I'm about to pass out. I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm looking more into group projects. And the reason is, is because I actually recently filmed the continuation of the Life is Strange series. We are going to be covering the original game. I'm doing a co-op playthrough with my friend Taylor. He's going to be leading the game, actually. So he's going to be actually making the decisions for Max in the original game, who's the main character, by the way, if you're unaware. He's going to be making all the decisions for Max. I'm going to be backseat gaming and kind of giving the perspective of Chloe Price. And I really like this series as a whole, and I feel like, honestly, it's going to be underappreciated by the internet because I feel like me and Taylor fit the personality quirks of both Max and Chloe. Like, Taylor relates a lot more to Max than I do. Like, Max is very nostalgic. She has an appreciation for what's old, and she likes to, you know, revisit things and talk to people, and she's more invested in what's going on around her. Whereas Chloe, she's more obnoxious, blunt, to the point, and doesn't really, or she's not really interested in, like, the people around her. She's interested in what she's interested in. And I feel like... Those are kind of the personality traits that we relate to with each of our respective characters, if that's how you want to view it. I really enjoy that. I feel like if you watch both those Let's Plays in order, you're probably going to have a great time with those in the long run. Now, I'm going to post them the same way I'm going to post Life is Strange Before the Storm, of course. And we're not even through that yet on the channel. Like, this is all going to be ahead of time, but the announcement is basically expect content frequently. And... Furthermore, I'm thinking of doing more with those guys. Like, maybe I do, like, a little talk show where we talk about what we've been doing as far as nerd stuff. Like, maybe have, like, a little discussion table. Maybe talk about things going on in pop culture or YouTube culture. You know, I just sit down and we talk between th uh, a couple of nerds and it just becomes a uh, kind of a discussion. I might do a little discussion table type of segment with my friends as well. So that, that's what I'm thinking about right now. That's what you got for Violent Games, ladies and gentlemen. This is January 12th. Actually, before I get out of here, guys, I almost forgot to mention, I've been playing Okami HD. It was a really cheap release. It came out, like, December of 2017. And I gotta say, I've never played this game before. It's apparently a PS2 classic. I gotta, I really like this game. It reminds me a lot of, like, a Zelda Wind Waker type of game. And one thing about this game, guys, that 
that I need to draw attention to, just just if you're aware, it's not voice acted at all. That means I could potentially do a playthrough of this game where I focus on the story primarily, like cut out the grinding, cut out some of the um, backtracking, and just focus on the narrative of the game when it comes to like what I show, and then I do all the voice acting for that. I think that could be a really cool way to experience this classic, because the the game is not voice acted at all. It has that mumble thing, you know, that banjo kazooie type of whoop, wah, 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 like type of shit. I could turn that off and just voice act all the characters myself with cringy American ma- white cis male <laughs> freaking voice acting. So let me know if you're interested in that. That's also a thing. So in conclusion, let's go over the update real quick. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go off the top of my head. So if I forget something, sorry, I'm an idiot. But I beat Life is Strange Before the Storm. The playthrough's ready to go. Um, be prepared for the next one where I play through with Taylor. Taylor's going to be leading that game as Max, and I'm going to be backseat gaming and supporting him. The part, by the way, came out really good. We actually filmed the first part. He did a phenomenal job. And the one of the announcements is that we will have routine Let's Plays throughout the year. Okami's probably going to be one of them because it's looking pretty good. And uh, I'm going to continue to do series like um video game discussions i just need to come up with topics you know that that's just a part of the recap i don't want to i'm never going to stop doing that i don't think i think gaming is very diverse and there's a lot of controversy that has yet to happen in video games and video games as a whole has pushed our culture so like so far forward in my opinion so mm, there's a lot to talk about when it comes to video games so discussion topics that's going to be a thing on the channel still i just need to come up with something and I, I am looking forward to future series. We're not sure what games we're going to cover. I brought up um, Detroit Become Human at some point or in, in my life as a game that I'm interested in. But we'll see if there are any games that I can actually make a series on. That's ultimately what I'm looking for. So yeah, guys, that's really all I have for you. I'm going to try to keep it 100 on this channel. I'm going to go forth positively. I'm not going to let the negative shit keep me off of YouTube. I'm going to make sure that I'm posting something at all times so there's constant activity on this channel this is violent games signing off